Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. In this problem, we are given a linked list and we have to group all the nodes with the odd indices together and all the nodes with the even indices together. The group of the odd indices will come first and then followed by the even indices. Let's look at the examples given. These elements marked in green occur at the odd indices. Hence, in our output, they are grouped together. And these elements marked in red are at the even indices and in the output they are grouped together. Similarly in the next example, these elements occur at the odd indices, hence they are grouped together. And these elements occur at the even indices, hence they are grouped together. Let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this. To group all the odd indices together, the first thing we have to do is that each node will break the link to the next node and instead it will connect to the next odd node. This will be the same for even indices also. And finally, we have to connect these two groups. Hence for each group, the indices will differ by 2 and they will connect to the node which is 2 steps ahead of them. One thing you can notice is that these two groups can be considered as independent linked lists and later they can be joined together. Let's see how we can construct these two lists. Each linked list will have a null pointer at the end. Let's add it because it will help with the visualization. Many of the linked list problem can be solved by two pointer approach and even this can be done by that. Let's keep a pointer to represent the odd linked list. Initially it will be at the first node and similarly we will keep a pointer for the even linked list and it will be at the second node. The even pointer will always be ahead of the odd pointer. Hence we will check if it has any room to move forward. We see that the even pointer is not null and the next element is also not null. Hence we can move it forward by two steps. Similarly, we'll move our odd pointer by two steps. We'll repeat this process and update our pointers. We can check that the even pointer is not null and its next element is not null, hence it has room to move forward. So we'll move both our pointers forward by two steps. And now we can see that the even pointer cannot move forward because it itself is null. So our odd and the even groups are complete. This is how they will look. One thing to be careful about is our odd pointer will currently point at 5 and the even pointer will point at null. To return our answer we have to do two things. We have to connect our odd pointer to the start of the even linked list and we have to return the start of our odd linked list. Luckily the start of our odd linked list is still being tracked by the head pointer but we have lost the track of the start of the even list. So we'll have to store it separately. And finally we can connect our odd pointer with the start of the even list. Our head pointer will give the result. Let's look at the case where there are even number of elements. We'll initialize our odd and the even pointers at the first and the second element. We'll continue to move both our pointers forward by two steps till the even pointer has room to move forward. And now if we try to move our even pointer by two steps, it will land ahead of null, which is not allowed. So now our groups will be generated. And now we will connect our odd pointer to the start of the even list. The time complexity of this would be O of n because we have to go through all the elements only once. And the space complexity would be constant because we are just maintaining two pointers. Let's implement our solution. If our linked list is empty and the head is null, our output is null and we can return it directly. We'll keep an odd pointer which will initially point to the head and similarly we'll keep an even pointer which will initially point to the next element to the head. And since we have to keep track of the start of the even list, we'll keep a pointer which will initially be the second element of our list. Now we'll check if our even pointer has room to move forward so it cannot be null and its next element cannot be null. In that case, 
the next element of our odd pointer will be the element which is two steps ahead of it hence odd dot next will be odd dot next dot next in fact it will be the element which is next to the even pointer so we can write it as even dot next and we'll update our odd pointer to point to that next element this element will be the same as next element of even so we can also write it as odd is equal to even dot next we'll do the same thing for our even pointer so the next element of even will now point to the element which is two steps ahead of it and finally our even pointer will now point to its next element when there is no more room for even pointer to move ahead our groups are formed so now we'll have to link these two groups so our odd pointer will now point to the start of the even group and finally we can return the start of our odd list this is already stored in the head pointer let's submit our solution as you can see our solution is accepted if you have any doubts or concerns regarding this solution please mention in the comments if you thought this video was helpful please leave a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching